Hello diamond painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder. There's a pause in the road construction. The kids aren't home for a change. Let's do a video. So today I wanna to stop in to share a post review on a gorgeous canvas from DIY Moon Shop. This canvas is a 50 by 64 centimeter round drill canvas called Sleeps with Butterflies with original artwork by the very talented Margaret Morales. This is one of the most beautiful pieces of art that I've ever done as a diamond painting. Margaret, I've said it before, but I wanna say it again. Thank you so much for creating this piece licensing it to DIY Moon Shop and allowing me to show it here on the channel. I want to show you guys a few aspects of the canvas. I'm going to start with all the good stuff first and then I'm going to tell you about some challenges I ran into toward the end of working on the canvas. This one has 45 colors. Rounds are very quick and I am a daily diamond painter but I also work a lot so this one took me right around a month to complete. And I typically diamond paint one to two hours a day, probably. Some aspects you might wanna know about is that the shipping time for DIY Moon Shop, especially right now during the pandemic and all the struggles related to that, is quite long. I don't mind that because it gives me something to look forward to for six or eight weeks. But you do wanna know that if you're ordering this and you have a timeline that you're working under. These canvases do come with a detached legend. So you'll see on this canvas that there is no color chart here. That comes separately on a little strip of canvas fabric. That doesn't bother me one bit, but if you're someone who likes to have the legend right on the canvas, that's something you should probably know up front. The tools, I'm not even gonna talk about the tools. I didn't use the tools. I always mean when I order a canvas to say, please don't include the tools because if you diamond paint a lot, you're not gonna need them. If you're brand new, you might want a small collection, but I always forget to do that. The adhesive on this canvas is poured glue. It extends just a tiny bit along the outside edge of the drill area. Not too bad. I actually only ended up putting tape along one inch because this extended the most. This was a little dirty when it arrived to me, but I think that was just from the manufacturer. There was kind of some grime on the bottom portion of the canvas here, but I think it was a bit of overspray from adhesive and so like it had just some manufacturing and shipping goo. It's impossible to keep really sticky stuff clean. As we all know, this canvas was very good quality. The adhesive was very good quality. I think for the most part, the rendering on this is very, very beautiful. And I really enjoyed working on it. I ran into some struggles with my patty wax, which I discussed in another video that I've never run into before. Typically, patty wax and patty wax super sticky work like a dream for me on every canvas I do, but for some reason the texture of these drills were not having the patty wax. It kept popping out of my pen, it was pulling out, it was just getting everywhere. So I actually reverted to pink wax on this. I'm back to patty wax on my next canvas having no trouble at all. So I assume it just has to do with the texture of the round drills on this particular canvas. There were two symbols that were a little hard to distinguish. They were both pink. One was a G, one was a nine. It was, it was not a big struggle. It, it took a little extra thinking, but beyond that, it was not a big struggle at all. I was truly in love with every part of this canvas. I did all the way around the outside edges first, all the flowers. I did the dress, I actually replaced some of the drills in the dress with diamond dots, iridescent drills. I'll show you which ones. I tried some of these diamond dots, shade 5011. Oh my gosh, I just ran through to the back of my house and it's quarantine. <laughs> so now I'm like, I'm winded from running 15 feet. Don't judge me, it's pandemic. <laughs> the gym is closed, okay. <laughs> Aren't these pretty? So I just stuck some of these diamond-like drills 
down into the bodice of her dress down here. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that on my limit, in my limited lighting here today. It's very overcast and dark at my house. But that was a lot of fun. You can order special treatments from DIY Moon Shop. You get some pre-selected special drills that you can add to your canvas, but I just sort of did a DIY special treatment in this area on this canvas. The flowers are gorgeous. The, I actually didn't realize these were fairy wings until I looked at the original piece of art, but that's what's happening over here. She's got her fairy wings down here. And then the flowers up here, the butterflies are absolutely gorgeous. Now I did save the face on this one for last and I will say that the way the face turned out to me is pretty disappointing. I've actually been putting off doing the video because I'm so disappointed about the face but I loved the rest of the canvas so much. I'm going to stick in the rendering that's on the DIY Moonshop website for this canvas in the 50 by 64 and then I'll stick in a still photo of the canvas as it is finished. I don't know if the rendering on DIY Moonshop is for the square drill canvas or if the, the drills that I got in my canvas come from a different die lot than is depicted in the rendering. I know, I know that faces in diamond paintings are very difficult. And whenever I render a canvas with a face in it, it takes massive amounts of tweaking in my cross stitch pattern to make it look good. And even then, when you, when you factor in the die lot issues between drills sometimes, I feel like even that result is fairly outside of the realm of control in some sense. Like, you don't have perfect control over the actual shade of the drills. But something is going on with the shading in the skin areas on this canvas. The two colors that live right here um, next to each other are 963 and 151. Now I didn't have any trouble with trash or running out of drills. Like this canvas really had no quality issues whatsoever. It was so much fun to work on. And for me, the way I end up feeling about a canvas comes down mostly to how much did I enjoy working on it? Did it cause me stress while I was working on it? And how does the end result look? So this one did not cause me stress while I was working on it at all. Now the farther, of course, the farther I pull back from it, the better it looks and the less she looks like she is just said something really embarrassing in front of a giant crowd of people. The less she looks like she has been trailing a piece of toilet paper behind her on her shoe for the last 15 minutes. The less she looks like her fly has been down while she's giving a lecture at a conference and she didn't realize it. Distance really does help when viewing diamond paintings and I've got you about two feet away from this one. But even at a distance, this looks very starkly shaded. So I think just in my personal opinion, this needed some kind of intermediary shade or shades between what is clearly a blush shadow here on her cheek and the highlight area on her nose and the shadow area on her nose. Some kind of intermediate color there. Unfortunately, I've been digging through the colors in this canvas. I've actually been trying to figure out how to fix this. The problem I think with the canvas is that there is no intermedi intermediary shade charted between this very yellow ivory, the light pink, and the medium pink. If you've done this in a square, will you please let me know if that was an issue for you and how that turned out. I am gonna see if I can do a little tweaking on this and just make this a little less harsh. It's, it's simply a matter of translating something that is very smooth and blended into something that's very pixelated. And I know that is not an easy thing to do. So I wanted to make sure before I did any tweaking on this canvas that you guys saw it as it is, so that if you are doing the round version of this, if you're thinking about ordering it, 
you sort of know what to expect. I think that's important. So other than that, I had an absolutely magical experience with this canvas. I absolutely adore it. I'm going to be framing it. I'll be sure to show you how I do that. I'm gonna pull back and show you a long view of this so you can see how it looks. For now, have a fantastic week. I'm gonna stick some links in the description below both to where you can find this canvas. All of Margaret's work is gorgeous. If you wanna support a very talented artist, be sure to check that out. As always, spread some joy wherever you are today. Never mind, you guys, I'm back. I actually had a little time to work on this canvas, and I don't know if I made it better or not, but I, I did something, so I guess that's something. So I actually, took out some of the medium pink drills in this area and just dithered up some of this lighter 963 into the cheeks and into the nose so that it was just a little bit less of a harsh line. So dithering in cross stitch or in diamond painting software is a technique where you sort of checkerboard in two colors together so that visually when you pull back um, those two colors blend together and they look like they're a little more, they have a little more of a gradient. So I'm gonna bring you a little closer to this. Up close, she's gonna look like she's freckling. <laughs> she really is. So when I'm doing this, what I always do is take about 300 photos. Literally every pixel I replace, I pretty much take a photo and see if things, if I made things better or worse. And I ended up replacing probably maybe 100 drills. So not too many. I shaded a little in her nose, like I said, a little up in her cheek here, and then just a tiny bit in her shoulder just so that, this is a shadow from the butterfly, but just so that we had a little bit less of a harsh line there. I think I've decided that's pretty much all I'm gonna do to this one. Like I said, I don't know if it made it better or worse, but I'll pull back now and I'll show you kind of some long shots of the finished canvas. Like I said, regardless of this issue with the face, I had a blast doing this one. I absolutely loved it. I highly recommend this canvas. If you're worried about doing a little tweaking to it, maybe do a little investigating on whether the square would be a little higher resolution for you. But I really enjoyed this one and it's going to be a fantastic addition to my diamond painting finishes. So. I'm really gonna go now. Have a great week, you guys. Spread some joy wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.